think it's that way. I think this one opened though. Yep. <laughs> Fucking always have to fight him, don't I? Always have to fight him. No, don't didn't get it this time, Harry. Better luck next time. Oof. Ooh, this might kill. No. Hope spring to tunnel. Harry just being CC stunned. Oh no, they're both CC stunned. Amazing. Oh, Hermione immediately gets out of it. Oh, don't stun me again, you asshole. Okay, yeah, just hit Harry, it's fine. Please die. Please. Okay. Wow. Harry endlessly stunned. Feel like uh, I'm giving him a paralyzed potion. Not really. Aha. Finally. Nice. Try Ori. I have a feeling that the green spell upgrade is like an AoE. Like the Triari of the green spell, Verdemilius or something. It's like an AoE spell, which is actually pretty decent to get. Okay, that was a bit overkill. <laughs> Probably only needed to use like the stage one of that. Oh. No potion, that's sad. Oh, the Flipendo Triari is as well. Okay, so we could get, for sure we're gonna get one of the two. There's no way to get over the gap. Uh, if we can find a way to turn this valve handle, I can cast my glacier spell on the uh, and freeze the water. Okay. What about Reparo? No, the other way. Yeah, it was worth a shot. They like bleed it. Off from here. No, it's just. Ah, there we go. Valve handle has been added to your inventory. Thank you, SP. Oh. Oh, there's just nothing in that room. Okay then. We are now Harry Potter and the plumbing. Excellent job. Oh yes. Fucking amazing transition. But where did the pipes go? Where did the glass go? <laughs> so I think Zenga was saying yesterday that someone has attempted to do a speedrun of the um, Lord of the Rings game. Or was going to attempt to do a speedrun. World record speedrun because no one's done one of it. If I had known that, maybe I could have claimed that mine was the world record holder. Lol. 
It's an hour and a half long. Okay, maybe not. We took so long. Well, mainly because I crashed the game. And you had to get through the game with that glitch in there as well. Which I don't think he probably doesn't have to deal with because he actually has a proper setup to not do that. World record of cringe! <laughs> uh, it's so true though. That is pretty true. Yeah. Oh no, now she can't do her thingy spell. Fuck. Unparalyze her so she can give us XP buff. Okay. Fucking world record of cringe. That's for sure. Just to show how fucking terrible it is. Alright. Couldn't have Jay just given me a hundred XP? Give me like. I went to like hit down, but apparently you just got hit in the corner. On that one. Oh, Harry can't do anything. Sad. Sad times, man. Probably should drink a pepper up potion. Spell's not great. Oh fuck, I meant to put it on. Just spamming the A button. <laughs> I leave and you're fighting skeletons. It's not the same skeleton, that's fucking sure, but it feels like it's Eve. <laughs> oh god. And I fucking paid giving Harry or giving Hermione the potion. Yeah, no, they have worked in the same potion mechanics, like antidotes, and you know. But this one took away the like cauldron cakes and extra additional healing items because it really wanted to make it challenging. This is the actual Dark Souls experience, whereas the rest of them are just Dark Souls 2. <laughs> no one's gonna get that reference, because no one realizes that Dark Souls 2 is just filled with so many different healing items, then it's kind of insane. Whereas the other Dark Souls, like, have Estus Fasks and maybe one or two other healing items in the game. It's just gonna be like, uh, gotcha. This was the true challenge, guys. Uh, um... Okay, fine. Oops, didn't mean to cast that. Oh well. We <laughs> had 5,000 different types of healers. I believe you! Somehow I'm like, probably. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think one of the most controversial items in Dark Souls has been the life gem in Dark Souls 2. Because it's a viable healing item that is- viable healing item that is basically unlimited. Whereas they normally limit you to buying a certain amount of items from vendors in Dark Souls games, but in that one they didn't. For... Eh. <laughs> um... And that's why some of the areas are like, you know, you gotta fight a boss in a poison pool kind of thing. Just... And that fight was... hard. 
for me because I wasn't using them. Because you can basically pop enough life gems to out heal the tick damage of the of the poison. It's kind of how it works. But I actually got like chat had to help me find the way around that boss. Um, I was like. Oh wait, no, I did this wrong, didn't I? Nope, nope, and then it's down. Let's have to fight these guys. But yeah. I think the Dark Souls community were like, mm-mm, stop doing this. Nope, Harry not doing anything. Being ever unuseful. Just keep stunning him. I don't care. Okay. Um, yeah, just for Demilius this. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, by the way, Zeev, I think I made you editor so you can change things. Oh, is that just an obstacle? Let me just leave. Oh, okay. Alright, that's the last one. Good. No, I don't. Oh, I do have to fight them. I guess I can just get out this way. But I don't know. Okay. Can I just hit that wall there? No, I can't. That's annoying. Wait. Up, lift, down, right, down, lift, up, lift, down, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my brain can fucking contemplate that. I do have to fight one of these. I was trying to feel if there was a way that I could not have to fight. I guess I don't. He doesn't actually touch me, so. Okay, good. Good. Alright, where's the exit? Oh no. Oh. How would these guys respawn? I'm I'm kinda mad. Oh well. Don't have to fight both of them. <laughs> they only use this mechanic in every Zelda game. Yeah. No, that's true. It's in um it's in a couple of the Pokemon games as well for uh, the layouts in, uh, you know, caves and stuff. Oh, I forgot to do my thing, didn't I? down on the thank you the square I did not touch it I swear oh. how weak are these guys to the green spell I hope pretty weak fighters uh 
No. And Guardian Bloody Osa though. Where's the that one? I'll just send it. Nah, probably. This would be better. Smack. I don't know if you using the Clipendo Unos will get you to get Clipendo Triari. That's something I don't know. Oh, you missed! I have to waste like 10 points again. I didn't actually hit the fucking Wingardium Leviosa. See, Hermione's gonna show you how it's done. That's all we need. Mm, that ear splitting sound. Where are we? I think we're in the Shrieking Shack, the most haunted building in Britain. In Britain? -y? Probably a good place for Black to hide. Ron must be here somewhere. We have to find. We have to look and get all the cards that are obviously left in here. Make sure we don't miss any magic cards. Oh no, we're going to go straight into the cutscene. Ron, are you okay? Where's the dog? It's not a dog, Harry. It's a trap. Can't say that. Black is the dog. He's an animagus. It's 2020, Ron. Stop using that word. It was serious, Black. The man who had portrayed Harry's tenants to Voldemort. The man who Harry believed was intended intent to kill him. Black didn't deny that he had betrayed Harry's parents. He wanted Harry to know the full story. Before he could tell it, Professor Lupin burst into the room. Where is he, Sirius? Where's Peter Pettigrew? Over there. I've like a I'm Batman voice for uh Sirius. Oh there he is. Peter ready, Sirius? Peter Pettigrew was uh an animagus. That actually is quite a horrific image if you look closely at it. Like Sirius Black. Like Sirius Black and James, but we're not going to explain that. Black explained that it was Peter Pettigrew who had become Lord Voldemort's spy. Sirius Rebus, my friends, my old friends. I broke out of Azkaban not to get at Harry, but to seek revenge on Pettigrew. It was Pettigrew who betrayed your parents and made it look like I betrayed them. You don't understand. The Dark Lord was taking over everywhere. He would have killed me. You should have realized. You should have realized that, you idiot. If Voldemort didn't kill you, we would. Goodbye, Peter. Peter. No, you can't kill him. I don't reckon my dad would have wanted his best friends to become killers. You can go to Azkaban. Very well, Harry. You're the only person who has the right to decide. We'll take him back to Hogwarts. Save Peter! No, Peter! We need to save Peter! There's a box over here. No, there isn't a box. Oh, what a shame. Save Peter. Fucking. God damn it, Zenga, why? Why did you do this? 